I don't I don't think about the fact that like we're on the side of a street or like a down a dirt road lot, or yeah. yeah I don't think about that at all like when the bed is here and we've got our duvet out and it's all cozy it's just home hi I'm Carly this is Kyle this is Hazel and this is our 2016 Ford Transit So this is our Transit, it's a 2016. We have a little over 40,000 kilometers on it now. A um, Couple upgrades on the outside. First of all, we upgraded our tires, um, just something better for uh, all seasons, better for the snow and the mud. Um, up top, we built a DIY roof rack. Um, we have three solar panels mounted on it, giving us a total of 300 watts. We also have a max air fan and on the far side of the van we've added a side window we sat in in the in the car like discussing it for about an hour the poor sales van was just like probably waiting for so long to go home <laughs> it's like very dark out and we're guess... calling all our family like do we do this like is this the right thing to do welcome to the inside of our van Over here, we have our water fill port. Um, we have 100 liters of fresh water. Um, under here, we've got a little bit of extra shoe storage. Um, and here we have our lighting system for the front four lights here in the kitchen. Uh, it's on a nice little dimmer switch. We did literally everything ourselves. We probably surprised ourselves a little bit with uh, the things that we actually did. A lot of the steps were really intimidating, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we're both super happy with the result. So this is our kitchen area. I'll give you a little breakdown. Um, in here we've just got our utensils and little odds and ends, um, aluminum foil, that kind of fun stuff. Uh, this is our AC fridge. We have a freezer section, which we absolutely love. Um, the ability to have frozen fruits and veggies is so nice. Um, and then this is the fridge portion. So we have a little separate inverter for this particular fridge um, because it is AC. Uh, it is on all the time, but it's just a 600 watt inverter specifically for the fridge. Um, this is our toiletry cabinet. Um, we love having the mirror here. It just kind of worked out. Um, my grandma found an old mirror and it worked perfectly for the size that we needed and it was really special. And so now every time we see it, we think of her. Um, this is just another uh, drawer. We haven't quite decided what's gonna go in here, but uh, right now we've just got some magic erasers, which you need for these white cabinets and a uh, little cloths and stuff like that. Um, so this is just another drawer. This holds like our olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Um, and then all of our like bigger utensils for cooking. So this is just a bigger drawer. Um, and this holds all of our pots and pans, big bowls, um, baking sheets, cutting boards, basically everything that's in here. Um, this is our two burner stove and oven. We love it. Um, I honestly can't imagine not having an oven. Um, we love to have nachos and cookies and I like to experiment in the kitchen and cook a lot. So, um, and so does Kyle. And so having the versatility um, has been really nice. Um, this up here is just kind of our main food storage coffee. Um, this holds the bulk of pretty much everything that we use. Um, and then we've got a nice little plant section here on our window sill, which we really like to have. So by training, I'm a veterinary technician and he's a heavy equipment operator, um, but we're hoping to maybe never go back to those jobs. <laughs> we would like to uh, start to branch out and hopefully make it possible uh, to be our own boss yeah. and uh, maybe be a little bit more creative. So over here we have just more storage. There's a lot of vitamins um, and some face cloths and different things. We haven't actually figured out where everything's gonna go yet. We're slowly doing that and gonna find um, a way to put in some shelves and stuff to separate everything out the way that we like it. Um, so this is our sink, which we love. Um, it's deep, it's big, big enough to wash your hair in, um, which was a necessity for me um, being in a van without a shower. 
uh, and we have these little inserts that we used for um, the cutout from the countertop and uh, it just works really nice to be able to have that extra counter space when we're making like a big meal. Um, we have two faucets. So this faucet is just comes out regular water, whatever goes into the tank comes out. And this is a two stage filter. So this is anything that we're using for drinking, eating. Um, we're using this spout and um, we should be able to get water from pretty much anywhere and it should be safe to drink uh, with the two stage filter. This uh, little switch just turns the pump on and off. So if we're using the fa either faucet, we have to turn that on so that it'll pump the water from the tank. Um, this is a nice little sneaky drawer here for <laughs> sponges and different things um, that we use in the kitchen. And then this is our main hanging storage for our closet. Okay. So we just, anything that needs to be hung basically goes in there. And then we've got our fire extinguisher at the very bottom, just, you know, safety. Uh, and then this cabinet. Uh, holds our gray water so this is five um, gallons of gray water then we have our emergency toilet pee funnel so we have a backrest here that is multifunctional works as a backrest and also holds all of our bedding during the day so it's actually quite deep it goes all the way down to the bottom um, of, of the bench or sorry of the um, bed platform and so we can shove everything that we need for overnight. Um, we have extra sheets, pillowcases, um, a little slot for my laptop also. Um, and so everything fits in there quite nicely during the day. Um, obviously you don't wanna be having bedding on all the time. Um, and then over here, we've got um, a laundry chute we call it. So all of our laundry we just kind of throw in there and then on laundry day we take it all out and go do the laundry it's got an extra little shelf in there so sometimes we put board games or whatever um, extra little bits that we need we've got a dimmer switch here and so this uh, dimmer switch allows us to control these six lights and then we have the four lights in the kitchen so it's nice to have the separation so that if we're just eating or just cooking we're not using as much battery life um, and then it's also just kind of nice to you know set the mood sometimes <laughs> um, so we have another um, outlet here and so this is just like your standard outlet 12 volt um, like you would have on a car and then this is a USB charger and then it also tells us the volts, although those volts are not true. Um, it is kind of just a reminder to look at our actual ba battery monitor and check that we're not in low voltage. Um, and so over here is kind of probably our favorite section of the van. It's our music section. And so we have a nice little um, cutout for Kyle's guitar. Um, we wanted to make sure that we used all the space of the van uh, and then this is just a nice little portable speaker and we made a custom little shelf for it so it sits in there and doesn't roll around when we're driving. Uh, here's our battery monitor uh, and so we wanted it somewhere that we were going to be able to see all the time um, to keep an eye on it and so that that just allows us to be adamant that we're not you know ruining our battery life and then beside that is our Propex thermostat so it's really great to have that. You can just set it to a specific temperature and then um, it'll just kick on whenever it needs to. Well, like we said last winter, we didn't have a heater, so it was pretty intense. This winter with a furnace, uh, again, forget that we're in a van. It feels yeah. like we're in a house. It doesn't matter how cold it is outside. We're nice and cozy and toasty in here. Yeah. So here at the back of the van, we have our garage area. This is where we keep all of our bigger items um, we got lots of storage here we got all of our tools and stuff in this box summer or winter gear in this box uh, traction boards in case we ever get stuck in mud or snow or anything like that miscellaneous tools camping gear all that kind of stuff so behind all the storage bins we have our electrical system um, over here we got a charge controller the solar panels feed into that they go into our batteries here we have four 100 watt uh, AGM batteries uh, they, since they're AGM, um, that means that we can deplete them down to half. So that gives us a total of 200 usable amp hours. Um, we have a fuse panel and circuit breakers to make sure all the wires are safe. 
And on the far side, we have a 600 watt inverter, and that is just to power our AC fridge. And then up front inside the van, we have a 20 amp DC to DC charger. So we have our overhead cabinets here. This is just Kyle's storage. So um, he keeps his very nice and in travel compartments. I'm not so um, neat. I don't like to unzip and zip every day, but Kyle does. Um, this is kind of shared storage for us. It's where we keep all our undies and socks and all that fun stuff. Uh, back here is towels, um, catch-alls, Kyle's hats. Um, basically just anything like linens that you might need extra of. This is our book. Ooh, that's our book area. Um, it's obviously overflowing because we have a lot of books. <laughs> um, we're crazy readers. Uh, this is just my storage. So I've got these two compartments pretty filled out um, and that's all my clothes that I have. Um, so going down here, so <clears throat> we have a U-bench setup and we've got three vents. So all of the vents um, make sure that there is heating underneath each of the compartments. Uh, we just didn't want anything to freeze under there um, and make sure that, you know, the temperature is regulated for the batteries and the water and everything like that. So that's why we got the vents. Um, this is just our propane uh, detector, which the propane is inside of this compartment and so is the Propex heater. So that's why it's on that side. Um, this is just the inverter switch to turn it on and off. And then under here is a sneaky little compartment. Um, and so this is, you know, just bulk storage for dry goods and canned foods and different stuff like that. Basically anything we need. And then inside of our compartments. So this is our first one. We have a hundred liters of fresh water in there. Um, and then this is where we kind of hold all of our bulky foods and extras. We're big Costco people. So um, when you get the doubles of things, that's where they go um, for, when they, for when we need them. <clears throat> and then on this side, this is some nice extra storage. It's actually not even very full right now. Um, so anything else that we want to bring on our trips can fit in here. Underneath that um, is the Propex, so it's nice and um, protected so that nothing can be sitting on it or fall onto it or anything like that. Inside of here is um, our 20 pound propane tank. So it's actually vented to the outside. So if any um, anything comes out of the regulator or anything like that, it will actually go out, it'll fall out of that hole. Um, and we haven't had any issues with it or smells or stuff like that. So we have our little DIY table here. It's basically just um, some piping that we used, um, spray painted it black. It sits into its little place and it swivels nicely. So if you wanna come to the, oh, if you wanna come to the back, you just move it off to the side. Um, we like it a lot because it's versatile um, and sometimes we have it in, sometimes we don't. Okay, so we just take our tabletop and we put it into the little slats there and it sits nicely, it's nice and sturdy. Um, and then we fill it in with this other pillow and we've got a nice queen size bed here, which is tons of space for Kyle and I and Hazel. <laughs> what question do we get asked a lot? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what probably kind of dog is that it, yeah. is like number one actually. Yeah, that's, and we have no idea what kind of dog yeah, she is. No, she's no a, clue. Sorry guys. Like, she no was clue. a rescue. <laughs> she's one of a kind. <laughs>